In this video, I'm gonna show you how to uh, add and manage your users in Project Insight and add a user. From the admin, you can click the users. You'll see here a list of users that are in the system. If you would like to edit their roles, you can simply click the under user roles column and check the boxes for the various roles that your person will have. These roles are dynamic and depend on whichever add-ons you have installed. So some, uh, some systems will only have just the system administrator role. Depending on your add-ons, you'll see more or less options here. You can then edit that user by simply clicking the edit here. That takes you to the full add edit screen for your users. Again, the roles are listed here with some more detail. These are the preferences for that user, their time zone, resource information like their default burden and bill rate if you're doing time tracking, what their default percent allocation is going to be when you assign tasks to them. These options are on the resource info. There's some other videos which get into more details. And you can choose uh, a background color or choose an avatar for that user or upload a picture and uh, each team member can do this on their own as well. So. This is how you would add or edit a user. If I hit cancel, I am now out of that. Uh, another quick tip here is if you're an admin, you can actually impersonate one of your users to see what they, um, what they see. You can also clone a user, so create a brand new user based on the settings of a different user. You can reassign tasks to that user so that if somebody leaves your company, you can use the reassign task option to globally reassign tasks across all your projects in the system for that user. It's really handy. And you can resend the welcome email. The other things in this particular screen, if you want to get a, more details, you can click on their name and that will show you a card with their data on it. There's also an advanced option where you can choose from way more columns um, available. This is more a detailed list. You can also export your user list here. So this view here of all of these um, more filtering options and group by options and column options on the advanced user management tab. But when you're done with that, you would just go back to the default, which is a little easier. There's also a search interface here to search for your users. So there's pretty comprehensive uh, tools here to manage your team members.